Hi all, this is uh, your professor Ian. Uh, I'm recording this video just to walk you through um, what's coming up uh, for the rest of the course. Uh, we have about six and a half weeks left together. We've lost a week of course time. So I've made a bunch of, you know, some changes, altered some things. I also uh, made a major change to the third part of the course, or at least offered a major change if you wish to take it just in light of all the things that have been happening as of as of late. So let me walk you through it. Here's, uh, you know, nothing's changed here. Uh, as per usual, the main place you wanna go is modules. Uh, of course, you know, look up your grades in the grade area, you can look up old announcements, there's some resources and ideas, you know, things I've said there that might be useful. Um, what else? That's really about it though. I guess you can hop to your assignments there or the discussion boards. Discussion boards, actually, there's some uh, library discussion boards that you might want to check out, um, which I'll link to in the modules eventually, but mainly modules as per usual. So let me just walk you through. So uh, we finished week nine before spring break. Uh, week 10 was supposed to come uh, this week, currently, uh, the 23rd to the 29th, but of course we're using this as a second week of spring break so your professors can transition their courses. So I just noted that here. Uh, I went ahead and posted all the material for both uh, essays number three and essays number four. And they're all available to look at. So you can look ahead and see what essay number four uh, is going to require. We've been through, we've talked about essay number three um, the week before spring break. We started thinking about that. Um, but I also put the stuff for essay number four up uh, in case you want to get ahead because we only have six and a half weeks. So it's a little bit compressed. You might want to start thinking about that uh, earlier than we would have uh, originally done in the course. Uh, anyway, so that's all posted here, all the stuff. Uh, we also do peer editing. I didn't put that here, but we're doing peer editing. So let me walk you through week 11 is uh, starting next week on March 30th, Monday, March 30th. And here's where there's a major change in um, the third part of the course. You know, uh, when I planned this, this section of 1B, I, I focused on apocalyptic rhetoric not knowing that we would go through this global pandemic. So, uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting kind of case study for us to see how people are talking about it, but I also don't want to stress anybody out unduly. You know, the, we're reading The Road, we started it before spring break. Uh, and you know, The Road is a, it's, it's a great book, uh, but it, it's pretty dark in some places. And uh, it is about, you know, an apocalypse that happens. Not that we're going through an apocalypse right now, we're just going through a pandemic totally different things but i don't want to cause anybody undue stress so what i've done is i've created two options if you want to continue reading the road and working on the road for your third paper you totally can that's what it's option one the second option is related um but a little bit different maybe a little less uh topical right it's not about an apocalypse it's kind of about what happens to humans in the future um, when we engage with technology and the ways that we change because of our engagements with technology and the ways we alter what it means to be human. So it's, it's uh, you know, I, I put this option as a kind of like less stressful option, I guess. If you, if you're, if the idea of reading the road, this kind of dark story about a man and a boy trying to survive in a, a world where society has uh, been destroyed by some kind of apocalypse, if that, if that's not something you're interested in doing right now, I totally get it, um, and so I've option, I've created a second option. It's 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 similar. Posthumanism and the way I'm presenting it uh, is using kind of the rhetoric of science fiction to think about what it means to be human by considering what it means what what it means to be not human in this posthumanist way. What it means what it means when we change what it means to be human and how that informs our discussions of what it means to be human right now. So if you take option number one uh, next week, or starting on the 30th anyways, you'll continue reading the road using perusal. I've uh, added a perusal a PDF version to perusal. So if you don't have a copy of the book, you can still do this. I know it might be hard to get the book right now, so I've just gone ahead and put a PDF version on perusal. It's not uh, super maybe copyright friendly, I don't know. Uh, but it's there, so you don't have to get the book. And you know some of the other stuff stays the same. So if you take the road option, you'll read the road next week using perusal. Um, comment in the discussion forum and read you know uh, this thing, uh, this article called "Reading Games Using Perusal." So that's option one. Option two, you'll also do the reading games thing, 
But instead of reading from the road, you'll read a short story. It's a pretty long short story, but it's, uh, it's a good short story. I've included the, the story itself, an audio version, someone reading it, and then uh, the perusal, which you'll do for an assignment, right? So the perusal version, go through and annotate it. And you'll watch the Pixar film WALL-E. I don't know if you've seen this. It's a, it's a beautiful film about um, the Earth. That's, the Earth has become kind of a garbage dump, and there's this robot cleaning it up. And so we're thinking about the idea of Wally and you know his his humanity, this robot's humanity. It's an interesting, interesting film, kind of a kids' film, kind of not. Anyway, so the second option, you'll read this short story, watch a movie, and there's a discussion forum. Okay, and that continues on week twelve. Again, if you take option one, you'll continue with the road, and there's a longer academic article to read to practice our 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 ability to unpack and and analyze academic articles, which are often long and not written for. Uh, uh, people who aren't academics. So anyways, there's a longer article and then the proposal for essay number three is due. If you take option number two, there's a longer academic article to read, but it's a, it's a different one. Oh, by the way, using perusal as well. And then there are two more short stories. And these ones are about um, the singularity, which is when uh, human consciousness becomes uploaded to, you know, some kind of matrix or not matrix, but, uh, you know, post post uh, corporeal existence. You know, we become, we, we become part of the net, you know, the Internet. Uh, we, you know, transfer our, our consciousness to this other realm through technology. Right. Both stories look at this in interesting ways. Um, I've included the PDF of the story. They both there's two good audio versions of these stories. And then you'll be using perusal again for both stories. So that's option two of week 12. You'll read two short stories, a longer article and the proposal, or the road, uh, a longer article and the proposal. Okay, and that continues into week 13. If you continue with the road, you'll finish up the road using perusal. We'll do peer editing for essay number three. If you choose option number two, there's a video to watch and a discussion forum to participate in and peer editing for essay number three. Okay. So that's the huge difference that I um, that's going on in the course that'll take part of the take place over the next uh, three weeks, and then week fourteen we come together again and everybody will do the same work. So uh, we'll be working on um, uh, uh, we'll be watching some videos and practicing um, coming up with some anal analytical techniques. This is in preparation for essay number four, and I'll I'll post another video about essay number four. Uh, as we get into the course, I just wanted to post this right away. Um, and we'll be using a platform called Wakelet, which we'll, I'll go into in detail as well. But that's as of week 14. Week 15, I kind of compressed a couple things we were going to do, a couple articles, uh, a chapter from a book called uh, uh, Why We Fall For It, and, a, and a, then an article, Anatomy of a Fake News Scandal. Uh, week 15, we were going to, I had originally planned the syllabus, we were going to do three weeks thinking about uh, fake news uh, and how rhetoric is used uh, in that that tricky way that we see a lot nowadays. Um, it was kind of meant to be like um, something we could work on as a class while you worked on your final projects. So I kind of, it's only going to be a week instead of three weeks as originally planned. Well, I kind of compressed. We'll just do a little bit on just a little kind of a taste of fake news. Um, just uh, something, just kind of interesting side trip. Uh, your proposals do that week at 15. Then week 16 and 17, um, you can see I've broken down the due dates for those that last. It's only a week and a half, really. It's week 16 and 17 because we end uh, classes for online courses end on uh, what is it, May 13th, right? There's no final exam period scheduled. I'm not sure if that's going to change for some of the face to face courses, but for us, this is what we're doing. We're going to We'll wrap up on Wednesday, May 13th. That's when your final papers do. And so that last week and a half, there's a, a number of things we'll be doing. Our final exam, which will be uh, a kind of presentation of your final study pro your study guide projects. And uh, again, I'll post a video about what exactly that is and what this is. Um, but you can see when you come here, there's a breakdown. I've put a timetable of all the due dates for that last week and a half. Um, and this should be visible uh, for you as students, even though it's un, you know, unlock, it doesn't unlock until May 3rd, right? You should still be able to see the ghosted text if you go online onto Canvas and check all this out. All this should be visible for you. So you can see what's coming up in the last uh, last half of the course. 
Okay, anyways, that's it for now. I know that's a kind of lengthy walkthrough of the course, but I felt it was a, a good idea. I'll post this again in week 11 so you can review it. Um, and that's about it. Please do contact me if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.